Before we get to the politicians, I thought I'd bring you here to Montgomery College to talk to some real people about this thin blue line flag. Like everybody could take it their own way. To illustrate the different reactions it evokes, starting with one young man who sees nothing so controversial. It's about. So it's about um, basically how people are supporting cops. <laughs> to others who uh, view this flag as divisive and I racially most charged. Most of the time, or some of the time you see a Blue Lives Matter flag, you're going to see a Confederate flag right next to it. Especially after white nationalists displayed the flag during the violent Charlottesville protests in 2017. They're one and the same sometimes. You know. Look, I think this is really complicated. In steps Montgomery County Executive Mark Elrich, who asked Montgomery County Police at the District 5 station not to display a thin blue line flag given to them by Germantown resident James Shelton and his son as a gift to commemorate National First Responders Day. Governor Larry Hogan among those who went ballistic, posing with the flag and calling Elrich's decision disgraceful. Today Elrich explained. It's two different things. So for some people, it's a source of comfort, and I respect that. And for other people, it's a source of um, problematic behavior. And this has everything to do with the appropriation of that symbol for something that the thin blue line actually didn't represent. And that's the problem I have in the community. We are trying to undo a level of distrust with the police department. And if I were to say I'm indifferent to the symbol being up there, um, people in the community might feel that's not constructive. Alrich also mentioned liability. An Oregon County has been ordered to pay $100,000 to an employee who claimed display of the flag in her workplace created a hostile environment. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.